At Highway and Heavy Parts, our ASC certified technical reps answer a lot of questions about diesel engines, one of which is regarding the differences between the flywheel and the flex plate. While there are some exceptions, if your vehicle has a manual transmission, you want a flywheel. And if your vehicle has an automatic transmission, you want a flex plate. Today, we'll look at the differences between the flywheel and the flex plate, their engine functions, and failure indicators between the two parts. Before we get into today's video, if you're looking to keep your diesel engine running at peak performance on the road, be sure to hit the subscribe button in your search for answers in engine components with our industry-leading technical service and parts featured here at HHP. Also, be sure to check highwayandheavyparts.com for our online resource library offering additional help for all major heavy-duty makes and models. Hit subscribe, get informed, get back on the road with America's trusted diesel engine parts supplier. Flywheels and flex plates may seem alike, but they're not one and the same. While some people mistakenly use these terms interchangeably, they actually perform similar functions using different methods. Most diesel engines that have a manual transmission are equipped with a flywheel. The engine's crankshaft is connected to the flywheel, which in turn connects to the clutch. It acts as a sort of middleman for your engine and clutch assembly. When it's spinning at high speed, the flywheel can store a great deal of kinetic energy. Its job is to store rotational energy that produces power to the transmission. It has a good bit of mass to store energy to keep the engine turning between pulses at idle. Despite its simple appearance, a flywheel serves multiple functions. It acts as a friction plate and aids the starter motor in cranking the engine, ensuring your truck performs its daily tasks reliably, just like you do. Therefore, it has to be extremely durable. The flywheel is typically cast or billet, and besides being noticeably thicker and heavier, it's also characterized by its large, smooth surface that is ideal for the clutch's friction plate to make contact with. The physical differences are very big, even though the basic round shape and tooth edges are similar between the two parts. As previously mentioned, a flex plate serves the same purpose Purpose that a flywheel would on a manual transmission vehicle, connecting to the crankshaft of your engine, helping transfer the rotational energy to the transmission. On the other hand, the flex plate is used on trucks equipped with torque converters, commonly found in automatic transmissions. Similar to a clutch, the torque converter is located between the flex plate and the actual transmission itself. This is where the similarities end between a flex plate and a flywheel. Both of these components are typically heavy. A flex plate is typically made from stamped steel, but the flex plate is much thinner and therefore lighter than the flywheel. This is because the flex plate, as the name suggests, needs to flex across its main axes as the rotational speeds around the torque converter changes. One other key difference between the two is the bolts that come attached to them. Flex plate bolts are typically longer and come with a larger flanged head. Flywheel bolts also typically have star-shaped washers and don't have the flanged head. Now, let's take a look at some signs of failure that differ between the flywheel and the flex plate. Let's start with the flywheel. Burning smell. The smell of a burning clutch is very unique, and once you've smelled it, it becomes instantly recognizable. A clutch in flywheel's lifespan can be greatly affected by experience and how well the driver can shift gears. However, a burning clutch smell should not be taken lightly and should be inspected immediately, as it may be a sign of other serious issues. Gear slippage. Grind them till you find them something that most inexperienced drivers would hear when starting out. Although in some cases, slipping gears can be the sign of a worn out flywheel. If you can't shift into the next gear or your transmission pops out of gear, chances are that something is wrong with your clutch, flywheel, and or transmission. Clutch vibration. Clutch vibration can be felt throughout the cab while driving. This is typically caused by a worn out spring mount mechanism on the flywheel. If not resolved in time, it can affect the flywheel performance considerably, especially when the clutch pedal is depressed. Now that we've covered with the flywheel, let's look at the signs of failure in the flex plate. Starting problems. Oftentimes, a damaged flex plate will cause issues when trying to start the engine. If the flex plate is warped, the ring gear that helps engage the starter will get damaged or worn down prematurely, causing your engine to feel bogged down when cranking over. Knocking sound. No matter how you look at it, a knocking sound is never a good sign. Most will associate a knock with the rod bearing or other engine issues, but if it is coming from the transmission area, it is likely to be a cracked flex plate. In most cases, the noise will go away when accelerating as the centrifugal force helps the cracks expand. Vibration. Okay, 
This is the one sign of failure that is similar between the two parts. An out of round or misbalanced flex plate will tend to vibrate when turning. They rotate several times per second and the smallest imperfection can cause big problems. Vibration can be felt in the cab and should be investigated as soon as possible. Now that we've looked at the differences between the flywheel and the flex plate, we'll put it in simple terms. If your truck has a manual transmission, chances are that you have a flywheel. If you have an automatic on the other hand, it will be equipped with the flex plate. Our mission is to take the risk out of buying diesel engine parts for our customers. So if you're looking for affordable OEM quality diesel engine parts with expert advice on the other end of the line, we're here to help. If you have any questions about your diesel engine, you can call our our ASE certified technicians at 844-447-1453 or you can chat with us online at highwayandheavyparts.com. Be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button on YouTube, Facebook, and all our other social media channels to stay up to date on all the news and information from Highway and Heavy Parts. From diagnosis through delivery, we will be there.